What's up, Gators? This is David Hader, and welcome to Life is Strange Episode 3. So, if you have not watched my walkthrough of Life is Strange Episode 1 and Episode 2, I highly recommend you go back and watch it so you can totally catch up with what's happening so far. Or, if you don't want to sit through the pain of watching every single video of those episodes, you can simply look at the end videos for each of those episodes and it should show you all of the choices that I've made in each of those episodes. So, without further ado, let's play Life is Strange Episode 3. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! It's called film Little Pieces of Time. Hey, what do you know? It does the work for me. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Alright, so this is what happened totally in episode makes sense. one. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> and this is episode two. Someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> Oh man, that was a roller coaster ride of emotions right there. What are you doing here, Max? Now I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. All right, let's do this. So do I click? All right, here we go. So I've never seen uh, any of the episodes take place in the night in the uh, night time. So this should be very interesting. So yeah, episode one, it was a great episode. And I don't know how they would have topped that, but geez Louise did they do it with episode two, cause that was such a roller coaster of emotions. And by the way, I would like to thank you guys so much for all this, of the support that you've shown for that episode. I mean, you guys, like, left so many likes, and you guys have put it up to the top as one of my most popular series on my channel so far. So, thank you guys so much for that. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Okay, so now we're in control. All right. So then, let's just explore this room. All right, let's open this drawer. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. 
Yep, that was pretty bad. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. So this is taking place, I'm guessing, right after the events of Kate's. So not much time has passed. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Uh, Arcadia Bay Online News. Blackwell student attempts suicide on campus. Arcadia Bay, Oregon. A student at the prestigious Blackwell Academy almost jumped from the roof of a campus dormitory today with most of the student and faculty as startled witnesses. Authorities confirmed that the student, Kate Marsh, 18, had been troubled but information is scarce at this time. Dozens of cell phones recorded the event, which ended with an unidentified student talking Marsh down to safety. Click here for video footage and further details. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Okay, and this shows the missing persons. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Alright, and all these people here are leaving lovely messages for Kate. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Yep. That's social everybody media for you. talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. Wait, what? Oh man, I drowned it? Crap. I thought watering that, that plant would be a good thing. But I guess not doing it every day is... a better way. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. So I've just noticed, guys, that all the episodes so far are actually dates of the week. Like, for example, I'm, I believe that episode 1 takes place on Monday. Episode 2 takes place on Wednesday. Or episode 2 takes place on Tuesday, and episode 3 takes place on Wednesday. Which is what I do believe how these episodes are ordered. And on Friday, there should be like the thunderstorm nightmare coming to fruition. Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Yep. Okay, so is there anything else? Nope. Alright, let's leave. Ooh. Okay, the this darkness. is scary dark. Let there be... Oh, crap. I didn't sign up for a horror game. Come on. <laughs> I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. It says... Uh... Tiger, tiger. Burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Blake for Kate Marsh. Heart. Alright, so let's explore these areas. Where the hell are you, Rachel Amber? We'll wait for Kate. Isn't that sweet? 
Wait, isn't that like... Who's there? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Yeah, I'm kind of confused about Victoria. She needs to like pick a side. Like, are you good? Are you bad? The end of the world might be coming before your party. So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. Okay, so this is Kate's storm. So wait a minute. This is what? Barricade tape? So can I do anything about that? Alright. Let's move on. I feel like you're guiding us along. But where? Oh, it's that girl. Forgot her name, though. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. It's Taylor. Let's talk to her. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Yeah, bullying her will probably do that. Um, <laughs> either I could comfort Taylor or blame her. Uh, let's not be a bitch, because she seems sympathetic. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just, like, shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like, she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Uh, where did she go? Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope you're your a hypocrite. Gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Ah, uh, okay, so apparently we can go back. So let's do that. Uh. Max. Uh, Victoria sneaking out. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. So I really don't get Taylor. I mean, she says she's her own individual person. And then when we try to ask her where Victoria is, she gets all, like, freaked out that Victoria might, like, spaz on her. I'm like, come on. Just... Just tell me. Kate Stop probably being a won't hypocrite. want to look at these posters when she comes back. Anything in these showers? Okay, so what was what was like the point of me talking to her? I mean, she didn't really give me any other information. I like really do need to get some sleep, Max. Okay, that was oh, weird. Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time, going through her shit. What? I bet she'll party like it's 1999. Assholes. So should we go back to her dorm? Is that what Max is saying? Hey, Max. Come here. Whoa! I didn't even see you there. Just wait a minute. Juliet, waiting for you, Kate. No money, no money. That what? That I I can't read that. I'm I'm blind, guys. Not legally, but I'm basically blind. 
Praying for a fast recovery. Kate. Stella, Kate, just want you to know you're in our thoughts. Stella. Alright, let's get into this room. Dana's really hurting over this. Yes, I am going to find you, Rachel. For Chloe and Kate. Um. Okay, let's talk to Dana first. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. She really does care. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Um. We're all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Um, I was lucky? Yeah. I was lucky. That's all. No, girl. That was not luck. You made a choice to save her. Like a superhero. Then maybe it's time to catch the bad guys. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? Um, it's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. All right. So let's look around our room. Tina clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her laptop. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. From Trevor to Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day and know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump from the roof today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend of Kate and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up and I am here for you always. I miss you, Trev. From Dana to Trevor. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof and I and feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate and I don't even think they're best friends forever. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and you're just as good for me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight. XOXO Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. From Juliet to Dana. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, okay? Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. From Dana to Juliet. Hi, Juliet. I want you... I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened to today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. Dina. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. Okay, so this, there's this paper ball here. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh, okay, so we've read this. Okay, so there was some stuff around her that I didn't check out. That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Alright, so I've checked everything here, correct? Yep. No stone left unturned. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, God. I tried to run, but I did it. No. Don't leave. Okay, let's go back and search in Victoria's room. Because she said we could go in there. So let's do that.
I'll see what you're up to, Victoria. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Okay, so I see the bag there, but I'm not going to check it out yet. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Alright. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Okay. So then... Let's keep checking around. Oh, wait, did we search this? I'll title this one. Whoa, right. there's Kate. Totally high. Alright. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Rock on! That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Yep. These are just receipts. Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Okay, let's search her bag. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Alright, that isn't important. It's just a paper she clearly uh, copied. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. From Victoria to Taylor. Hey, sweet tea. What up? I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show. And, in, and I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. From Taylor to Victoria. What a sweet trip. That was the day. Seeing Max and Kate like that, I need a drink too. Let me know the time. Okay. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. From Nathan to Victoria. That tweemo bitch Max Crackfield got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns a fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit and are threatening me with a fucking job in my dad's office. How dumb is he to have me repping him? Max Crackfield and Blackwell need to go fucking down. And the end of the world party is fucking on, you in? Cheers, Prescott. From Victoria to Nathan. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kicking... Her ass kissing Miss, Mr. Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs around gets in trouble? And yes, the Vortex Cloud will be bringing the end of the world to Blackwell, no matter what. I'll SMS you later so we can apply in person. Hang in there, V. Okay. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, <sighs> I'm getting paranoid. Those boots are made for walking runways. Alright, there's nothing here. Okay, so, um, how about we just take a break here, guys? So, if you're enjoying this series so far, please leave a like to share your support and to let me know that you want more. Also, leave some comments below. 
letting me know what you think of this episode so far. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later, Gators.